If your artifact storage is looking like mine, capped out, and you need to do a gear cleanse, but you're not sure what to do for your gear cleanse, I'm going to talk you guys through the way that I do gear cleanses. To begin, because I am very deep in the end game, I have parameters that I set for myself. Now, the way that I do gear cleanses and the parameters that I set for myself are not necessarily going to be the same that everybody else who has their account is going to do their gear cleanses. People are going to keep different things based on what they want, based on just how they are and what kind of player they are. But for me, I do it this way. I go one star to five star, automatically I sell. Don't even look at it, I don't keep it. A lot would disagree with me, but that's the way I do it. That's the way it works for me. That's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it. All the way up to the blue rarity, I don't keep those either. Why? Because if you look at the substats, there's only two substats. Even if this rolls like a double HP, sure, early to mid game, it's gonna be good, it's gonna be decent, it's gonna help you progress. If you have nothing else, go ahead and use that. But for me, I only keep epics and above. So even if I double roll an HP percent and I equip that on a Pokemon, that's kind of like leaving stats on the table because I could, and I do, have triple triple roll epic pieces for HP. It's better to do that. In my mind, this is how my mind works. It's better to do that than to settle for a rare piece. Automatically, I don't even keep rare pieces. I don't invest the silver into it and I sell that. And the next thing that I do, I check for double flat stats. Now there are, there's some, you know, some pieces that I keep because there are always going to be exceptions. For example, this is an HP percent, but it's got three flat stats. I sometimes think that it might roll quad so what i do is i do I, I check it i roll it up to eight see if there's a double oh there is a double i roll it up to 12 and if it rolls on crit damage again and it turns out to be a triple i roll it up to 16. nope it didn't do that so for me that's an automatic sell same thing here i roll it up to 12 if it's a triple, I might roll to 16, but it didn't do it here. I probably only get like one quad roll every six months, something like that. Here's a perfect example of what I was talking about. I have something that off the top of my head, I was going to sell, but I rolled it up to 12, it rolled to triple. I'm going to roll it up to 16 to check. And if it rolls a quad, then it's probably worth keeping. At the very least, it's probably worth reworking, but we'll see. 16, give me the quad. And there it is. That's exactly what I'm talking about. This is why I, you know, I always check my pieces. Now this is, this is a really good piece. I'm going to keep it. Granted, these two stats are not exactly what I want, but still HP percent on a righteous set. Quad accuracy, little crit rate. It's not bad. It's really good. It's a nice roll. We keep that. It's what I'm talking about. And plus, I, I have a lot of gear. Even if I sell these pieces, it's not like I won't be able to build anything. I, I have too much gear. A lot of you guys might disagree with me, but this is what I've been doing and it's working so far. Here we go. We check another double flat stats roll it up see if it does a triple nope it doesn't so we sell it like yeah it's a flat stat but if it rolls a quad and you re-roll it using ores then you could potentially get a, a quad speed in fact i do have a piece that that stands out okay so here you see on a frost helmet i rolled a quad on the flat and then I used an ore and it became a quad speed. So roll the piece up first before you immediately sell it. Continuing here with checking substats. We check here for more a flat sub and that's trash. Now I, I usually wait until CVC or right now it's the POV event, the Path of Vengeance event. So right now I'm upgrading things and I feel okay with, with it. But generally I save until CVC to do all this gear or if there's a fusion and there's an, there's an event. Now this piece, it's cruel. It's a triple. I don't have any ores. I might be so inclined as to rework it, but at the same time, I'm also kind of like, let me, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to hold on to this piece because it is a cool set and I, I'm always in the market for, for gear that I could put on my nukers. What I like to do is I just like to leave a little mark on whatever piece I'm looking to roll up. And then I just do that. Give it a nice little one star glyph. That way when I see it again in the future, I have a mental check in my mind. For perception and resilience sets, because you get them all the time on a daily basis, the same thing with Cruel and Immortal, I am more willing to let go of extra pieces. So if, I, if I'm on the fence about, well, should I sell this? Should I not? Should I keep it? I usually sell those pieces. However, if I'm looking at a set like the Lethal Set or a Savage Set or Stone Skin or Bolster because, and maybe Righteous, because those sets are harder to acquire, I'm less likely to just say, okay, I'm going to sell. I'm, I'm more rigid with these types. Okay, so after I go through the substats, or sorry, after I go through the substats, subs, I can't say substats, stat, sub stats. After I do all of that, 
The next thing that I do is I go and use the RSL helper. I have a file that was given to me by my friend Tabish. And what this does is it will automatically, when I'm farming or doing the dungeons or anything like that, I use the RSL helper and it'll automatically sell whatever pieces the file deems to be unworthy for the end game. And the other nice thing about this is this will also look at the gear I currently have and it will auto sell check. So right now it's saying that I have 489 pieces of gear that are unworthy of staying on my account. Of course, there are pieces of gear that I'm going to want to keep. So the way I do it, I go through everything on the RSL helper first. And then I'll show you guys at the end, it'll automatically transfer over to the game and then I'm able to sell it. Again, with certain sets you need to be more lenient with and with certain other sets you want to be a little more strict. Pieces or set pieces like speed, I'm a little more rigid with. So even though the, the file is telling me to sell these speed pieces, I'm more than likely going to keep them. The same thing with regen, the same thing with savage and lethal, but pieces like frenzy, or Daze, or Frost, or I think it's Frost, Frost, Lifesteal, unless it's like a godly piece of gear that could be used as a nice offset piece, I'm more than likely going to sell it because it's not that valuable and not that hard to acquire to me. If you roll up a piece and you get a bunch of 111s, in my opinion, if you are in the end game, you don't want to settle for, for 111s. So this is going to be a sell for me. Another check that I do, it's something that my a buddy of mine, who, who is a Kraken, mentioned to me. He says, when you're rolling enough for percentage stats if it's not 17 percent so for example this one right here if it's not 17 percent and above then it's going to be an automatic sell if you have this this boot for an example for flat substats i'm talking accuracy and resistance for those kinds of substats if it doesn't roll 32 or above then it's not worth keeping the last check I can do is go going through the pieces of gear again and checking for that 17% and that 32%. The best way to do this is to not let your gear stack up. What you want to do is as soon as you get these pieces is you want to scrub through them right away. You want to roll them up and you don't want to keep them otherwise you get backlogged like I am now going through 100 pieces. I'm probably going to spend like another hour or two hours doing this but that's just something I wanted to mention. You also want to take a look at what the substats are and on which gear sets they are on. Case in point right here we have a crit damage piece. It's a triple roll but it's a triple roll on resistance. Crit damage gear is gear that you're going to put on your nukers. Speed is good. Speed is something that you want in your nukers but accuracy triple res and flat HP, more often than not, you're not gonna, gonna want them. So it's important to pay attention to what kind of subsets you have in association with which gear sets you have. I find myself looking at certain pieces and I stay on the fence with these pieces for quite some time because I'm like, okay, well, maybe I could sell it or maybe I could reroll it or maybe my good, you know, it's a very niche set, but it could be a good off piece set. Listen, these are the two pieces I'm looking at. This HP percent with speed, double res attack, and this one as well. I'm on the fence about these, but here's the thing that I want to point out. If you're not automatically jumping and saying, hey, I need to immediately take that piece to 16, probably better to just sell it. Because if you have to think about it, it's probably not going to be a good piece. Think of it like this, all right? You have one girl or guy or whatever you know, floats your boat. In my case, it's a girl. I love my wife. And then you meet another girl and you also happen to like the second girl. You should just forget about the first girl. Because if you actually liked the first girl, you wouldn't have even considered the second girl. So a little food for thought there if you're deciding between gear, just like if you're deciding between women, which I don't, you know, condone, I'm saying, you know, pick one woman and, and be be faithful to that one. I love my wife. I love my wife. That's all I have to say about these, these gear pieces. After going through one by one all of the gear, I have selected 552 pieces of gear. Make sure you have filter on, you have filter, and then you click sell so that it, it recognizes that we're about to sell something and then you click right here it says add selected to the sell list you click that and it's automatically going what just happened oh my gosh all that work for oh my i'll be back i gotta do that all again i don't know why it just crashed on me all right i went through all the gear i don't know why it crashed on me the first time around okay there you go it's not it's not it's not bugging out on me this time so it's going through the entirety of everything and it's selling everything that's selected here and we're gonna say goodbye to all these pieces is that everything it says 272 here but 594 here 
It's kind of weird. Okay, anyway, we're just gonna sell it. You do that for, for all of your gear, and that's how you do a gear cleanse. Thank you for watching. Have a good day and or night, and have a good life. Bye. Night.